The Fatal Eggs is a satirical science fiction novella written by the Russian author Mikhail Bulgakov, published in 1925. The story is set in Moscow during the 1920s, an era marked by the new economic policy in the Soviet Union, a period of limited economic liberalization. The protagonist of the novella is Professor Vladimir Ipetyevich Persikov, an eccentric zoologist specializing in herpetology who works at the Moscow Zoological Institute. Persikov is somewhat detached from the political upheavals around him, concentrating solely on his research involving the study of amphibian life. His personal life is quite isolated, except for the company of his doting assistant Pyotr Stepanovich and some household help. The catalyst of the story starts at Persikov's laboratory, where he accidentally discovers that a red and blue beam of light significantly accelerates the development and growth of living cells. This revolutionary ray inadvertently comes into being during his experiments using a special microscope fitted with a unique combination of lenses. While testing it on frog eggs, he finds that these eggs hatch almost instantaneously, producing abnormally large and rapidly maturing offspring. Meanwhile, a devastating plague, known as the Famine Plague, wipes out poultry stocks across the Soviet Union, creating a national crisis due to a massive food shortage. The government is desperate for a solution to restore the chicken population and somehow learns of Persikov's discovery. Seeing an opportunity to leverage the ray to expedite the growth of chicken embryos and solve the food crisis, the state apparatus quickly gets involved. The novella ramps up its absurdity and satire as the government mismanages the miraculous invention. Persikov's discovery falls into the hands of the Soviet bureaucracy, which, eager to capitalize on the potential for mass-producing food, sets up a state-run complex called the State Ray and Egg Farms to implement his findings on an industrial scale. They requisition Persikov's apparatus and start planning to use it on chicken eggs. However, disaster strikes due to a mix-up at the complex. Instead of chicken eggs, a shipment of ostrich, crocodile, and snake eggs, accidentally placed from a foreign consignment, ends up under the ray instead of the intended chicken eggs. This critical error goes unnoticed, and as a result, the eggs quickly hatch into giant, monstrous reptiles and birds that grow at an alarming rate. The creatures wreak havoc, beginning to attack animals and people, and soon multiply out of control, threatening the entire city of Moscow with their insatiable appetites and aggression. The government's short-sightedness and the chaotic implementation of the ray lead to an ecological and social disaster. Fear and panic grip the Soviet capital, drawing in political and military involvement to try to contain the outbreak. The story progresses, with the government ultimately deciding to apply extreme measures to eliminate the threat caused by its own administrative incompetence. The Soviet Air Force is called in to bomb the monstrous brood, applying scorched earth tactics that result in large-scale destruction. The decision to resort to military force brings the crisis to a violent and catastrophic end. Throughout the narrative, Bulgakov interweaves heavy satire directed at the Soviet regime's bureaucratic inefficiency, the blind faith in technocratic solutions, and the lack of foresight in understanding scientific implications. The novella criticizes the potential dangers of rapid technological advancements when coupled with human error and institutional arrogance. The characters embody various facets of Soviet society, from Persikov's scientific genius and detachment from reality to Pyotr's loyalty and the state officials' bureaucratic zeal and incompetence. In the closing parts of The Fatal Eggs, the monstrous creatures are finally annihilated, but at a tremendous cost. Moscow lies in ruins, and many people have died or been injured due to the nightmarish happenings. The state ray and egg farms are decimated, and Persikov's discovery is lost amid the chaos. The city returns to a semblance of normality, albeit with the scars of the catastrophe and the knowledge that the combination of government bungling and powerful science can have fatal consequences. Professor Persikov himself remains an isolated figure, his life disheveled by the misuse of his discovery. He becomes a tragic character, a scientific visionary who sees his life's work turned into an instrument of chaos and catastrophe, not through the flaws in his science, but through the hazards of hasty and thoughtless application by those in power. 
The Fatal Eggs ends as a cautionary tale that spotlights the inherent dangers in the intersection of science and the state, and it remains a classic example of Bulgakov's talent for blending social commentary with fantastical storytelling.